In regards to cake baking apps, BBC's Good Food app takes the cake. BBC Good Food has a few different variations of this app under the Good Food magazine title, such as Healthy Recipes, Festive Recipes and Quick Recipes, but today I will be reviewing the Cakes Recipes edition. This app is great for all cooks, experienced and novice, including people who can barely cook like me. The app makes cooking so straightforward and simple, from organising your shopping list for the recipes into aisles at the supermarket to videos showing you how to do the basics of melting chocolate and piping. It even includes a built-in timer so you never have an excuse for burning your cakes. Through these extra features, BBC's Good Food Cakes app goes above and beyond that of a usual recipe app. This app is a little hard to find on the App Store, but can easily be found by searching BBC Good Food or Cake Recipes. It's not the most highly rated or reviewed app, but it is definitely one of the best available. Once you've found and downloaded the app, it will open to this homepage, the top recipe picks of the day. These will often be themed. For example, with Easter just passed, they had some Easter recipes in their top picks. Down the bottom of the page, you will see this app is divided into five tabs. The first one is what we're currently on, today's picks. The next one is recipes, where you will find over 170 cakes and bags. You can view them all or view them by category of chocolate, my favourite, fruity, quick and easy, celebration, cupcakes and muffins, ultimate makeover, tray bakes and special diets. The special diets category of this app is a great feature, not commonly included in other apps. It provides heaps of recipes for people with intolerances or who are on diets, such as this low-fat banana and blueberry muffins recipe or this gluten-free chestnut truffle cake recipe. Once you've found a recipe you want to make, simply click it and you'll be brought to this overview of the recipe. From here, you can add this recipe to your favourites, include the ingredients in your shopping list or share the recipe with friends. Another great feature of this app is the nutrition per serving chart in every recipe overview, which will tell you just how healthy every cake and bake is. Ingredient measurements can easily be switched between metric and imperial. Here's the method of this yummy looking truffle cake. As you can see, the instructions are concise but easy to follow. To the top right of the screen, you will also see the previously mentioned handy timer to ensure the perfectly baked cake. The next tab is favourites, where your favourite recipes can be stored for easy access when you click the add to favourites button like I did before in this scrumptious looking truffle cake recipe. The next tab is shopping list. This tab is extremely useful as it will provide you with all the ingredients you need for the recipes you want to bake, which you can then organize by aisle or by recipe. You can then add your own items to the list, so you're only taking the one list to the supermarket. The next tab is extras. This tab is especially great for cooking novices like myself. It includes some videos like this one about making a cake. These videos include really helpful tips. There's also an ingredient section which details out important ingredients for baking and tips on how to use and store them. Here's the app's troubleshooting guide, which I use regularly, which answers some frequently asked questions about baking cakes, such as, why has my cake sunk in the middle? The good food 10 tips for success may seem pretty straightforward to you, but are the basics that every cake maker should know before cooking a cake. So it's great that this app has included them. So if you're looking for a baking app, BBC's Good Food Cakes is the app for you. With beautifully photographed and easily explainable recipes, along with great tips and handy features, this app is a must have for all cake makers. Frequent app updates with new recipes and tips ensure you'll never get into a kitchen rut.